Hey, this is Dr. G with PromiseBlog.com. Today we're talking about the question, why does the dentist spray cold water on my teeth? I can't stand it. It's super annoying and driving me crazy. Here's the reason why. Inside the tooth is something called the pulp. Inside the pulp are the nerves and the blood vessels that provide nutrients and sensory innervation to the tooth. Well, the pulp can only handle so much of a pressure increase before there's irreversible damage to the contents to the nerve and the blood vessels. And the number one way to increase pressure inside the pulp is through heat. When a dentist uses a dental handpiece or the drill, it's going at over 200,000 RPMs, usually even faster than that. And at that speed, you're generating heat of 8 to 9 degrees. The way that translates, and based on the research from guys like Cohen and Sturdivant and um, Banstrom and Fitzgerald and Stanley, they found that if you increase the temperature four degrees inside the pulp of the tooth, nothing happens. Four degrees. But if you increase the temperature ten degrees, then 15% of the time those teeth are going to end up dying or needing a root canal. So just a 15 degree increase in temperature can create the need for that. Well, here's the other side of that, too. As you increase the temperature, the likelihood of needing a root canal increases substantially. So a 20 degree increase in temperature inside the pulp of the tooth, 60% of the time, you're going to end up losing the tooth um, to nerve death. So you're going to end up needing a root canal, 60% of the time at 20 degrees. And if you increase the temperature 30 degrees inside the, the tooth, 100% of the time, you're going to end up needing a root canal. The tooth will die if you increase the temperature 30 degrees on the tooth. So that's why dentists spray cold water on the teeth. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching PromiseBlog.com. We'll see you again soon.